Good morning, YouTube, Facebook, Courtney Truman Steamers. Happy Christmas Eve. Yes, today is Christmas Eve, and I'm on my first and only job of today. We had a total of three. Kevin's doing two. I'm doing one, and this is the job that I'm doing. This is basically a uh, engineered hardwood floor. As you guys can see, there is a lot of residue on these floors. And in a case like this, this is where it drives the homeowners crazy because they clean the floors, but they leave so much residue behind and as they're moving the furniture it's just making the floors look horrible as you can see all over okay all over so what i'm going to do is reverse that today by using my orbot vibe you want to be very careful on these type of floors because again these are engineered floors uh, you can cause buckling and swelling in these floors if you use too much access water um, and show you guys what i'm doing and after this i gotta go do an estimate for another hardwood floor in uh not far from this job so i'm going to be doing all of this you guys see all that see all that smudge see all that right there so this just, I mean, it just drives the, 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 the homeowners crazy when they see this. Like, what is going on with my floors? And they usually find me from either YouTube or Facebook, and I can come save the day. See right there? See how you can see, like, footprints um, all through here, all through here. Not too bad over here in the dining room, but it is a lot. It is some in the dining room. See right there? Then coming in, you can see where they had a mat. I'm not a mat, but an area rug. You doesn't see it too bad over there. So I got a whole bunch of pads with me. All right, guys, showing you what I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Come back, show you some after results. Stay tuned. All right, guys, if you look really close, you can see why I'm stopping and you can see how all that residue is starting to come up. See right there? See where it stops right here. So it's coming up pretty good.
right guys that is going to do it and i must say these floors came out amazing now i will say this is by far probably one of the worst ones that i've had with so much residue on it i mean i probably had to change out about four pads um use two different pads because there's just so much residue built up on these floors but as you can see from before and after i mean the client came downstairs and she's amazed look at that remember all those scratch marks that was all right here oh man beautiful beautiful I'm actually going to call the client down, let her take a look. And what I'm doing too, if you notice, I'm walking around with my socks on. What that's doing, I'm trying to see just to make sure there's no residue left on the floors. Okay, if it is, it will leave my footprints. Um, sometimes, this is why I take off my shoes, because sometimes that residue will get on the bottom of my shoes. And as I walk around, it will be uh, leaving the residue behind. So what I do, I take my shoes off when I'm almost done and walk around in my socks and make sure I don't see any footprints and that lets me know that all the residue is, uh, is removed from the floors. Beautiful, beautiful. Let me call my client down. Come on down and take a look. <laughs> wow. What a difference. What a difference. Man, that was worth it. Yes. Because <laughs> uh, all the elbow grease I used uh -huh. did not get rid of that. No, ma'am. That looks amazing. Wow. Yep. Good and job. I did slide the sofa and the table. The table has wheels on it. I like the table. That one? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah that's yeah. nice. That's easy. Awesome. All right, well, job well accomplished. Thank you so much. All right. I greatly appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping up my uh, equipment. And thank you again. All right, guys, y'all have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. See you in the next one.